Next up, uh, announcement where we are super excited about. It brings together the power of LoRaWAN and the power of cellular LTM. Uh, and uh, what it is, it is a packaged proposition of a LoRaWAN gateway with an LTEM backhaul together with the global LTEM SIM of Deutsche Telekom. So uh, we're super, super excited about this. It brings a huge amount of benefits. Um, this is how the general architecture look li looks like. Uh, Johan, can you maybe tell a bit around what, uh, what we see here? Yeah, so on the left you see the devices and they are just communicating with LoRa uh, to a gateway. But this gateway has an LTEM backhaul. So it has a SIM card and it, since this is a global network, um, this is going to work everywhere. So this gateway you see here, for example, this is a MicroTIC gateway. Uh, it has an LTEM radio. It's provisioned with a SIM card. And uh, via this uh, cellular network, the gateway can communicate with the Things stack uh, operated by the Things Industries. Yeah. And there's a, a additional uh, advantages. So uh, first of all, the, the, the deep indoor penetration of LTEM, make sure that you can put this uh, gateway anywhere in, for instance, a building. Uh, but also the APN, uh, which is basically a, a, a VPN, can be configured directly to the IP address of the LoRaWAN network server, making sure that it's a completely secured connection and literally nothing else can be done with this device. Right, and it makes it really easy to deploy LoRaWAN networks because you don't have to have access to a local Ethernet uh, where you deploy the gateways or you don't have to bother with different cellular contracts in different countries. So that is now all a solved problem. You just need the device and a power source. Yeah, yeah super, super excited. And uh, we have here Afsal from Deutsche Telekom to tell a bit more about this partnership. Hey IoT friends, it's Afsal from Deutsche Telekom IoT and today I have very exciting news for you. In fact, it has been a very, very long time that I have been so excited about something that is happening in the IoT industry. So what is happening exactly? I will tell you everything about it. Let's start with some statements that we people in the IoT industry make very, very often. One of these statements is, you cannot do it alone. You need collaborations with other companies, other suppliers, other providers. It's true, we say it very often. And the other one is, there is no technology to rule them all. It's true as well. There is no technology that fits all IoT use cases out there. Each use case requires different types of connectivity, other protocols, other platforms, and sometimes even other hardware. So today, the Things Industries and DTIT are kicking off a collaboration to solve some challenges in the IT industry. Which challenges exactly? This is where it gets exciting. If I look closely at the LoRa ecosystem, it's huge, it's mature. Many IoT devices out there today are running on LoRa networks. I love it. But some of these use cases are facing certain challenges when they are about to scale. Imagine that you need to install a lot of gateways for one customer in one building or multiple buildings. You don't want to have the hassle with pulling cables. Or look at Wi-Fi connected gateways. It happens very often that the end customer requires other security protocols than Wi-Fi is offering. Or imagine that you need to install gateways in ships, trucks, containers, or even basements. You need deep indoor coverage. So this is exactly what we are going to solve. TTI and DTIT are going to offer LTEM connected LoRa gateways. This will simplify your installation with no touch provisioning and it brings security features like APN and SIM encryption. If you want to be one of the first ones getting access to this new product, make sure that you will join our digital marketplace at the Things Conference or join our keynote on Wednesday the 27th. I hope to see you there and thanks for watching the video. See you soon. Nice.
very nice message from, uh, from after all, from Deutsche Telekom. Uh, uh, and, and we are just excited as I've saw about yeah. this industry uh, collaboration. Um, and this um, uh, gateway here, what you see, is manufactured by Mikrotik. Uh, and, um, uh, and we have Dennis here uh, from Mikrotik to tell you more about the product. Hi, my name is Dennis Truhanovs. I'm Head of Innovation in Mikrotik. Today I'm going to tell you about new exciting Mikrotik products for LoRa, which uses narrowband and CATAM technologies for IoT cellular connection, low cost and low bandwidth. These technologies are supported by many mobile operators all over the world. Combining LoRa and CATAM makes not the best solution for LoRa networks that relies on CATAM connectivity or uses CATAM as a backup link for a wired Ethernet connection. The NAT features 800 or 900 MHz LoRa interface, 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and two Ethernet ports. Besides being LoRa gateway, NAT can monitor onboard GPIOs, forward Bluetooth packets over HTTP or MQTT, and translate Modbus interface to TCP. It can be used for outdoor environments as well. NAT comes with DINRAIL mount, which allows easy integration inside outdoor cabinets. This brings low-cost connectivity at very remote areas. Thus can be used for many IoT applications, agriculture, asset tracking, cold chain monitoring, and many more. It's very flexible and has very disruptive price of $209 list price. But that's not all. I have even more exciting news for you. Microtech is following new developments in lower technology so we are bringing new features to our existing LoRa gateways. Well-known WAPLR kit that was available with 800 and 900 MHz LoRa interfaces now will be also available with 2.4 GHz LoRa interface. That brings new possibilities of using 2.4 GHz LoRa interface with higher data rates and higher device density. It will be available for even lower pricing than 800 MHz gateways. Thus, it's a great fit for a wide range of LoRa applications. So if you are interested in NAT and other LoRa products, visit our webpage, microtech.com. Nice. Super interesting product, and yeah, you see the versatility sure. they, uh, they, they bring. Um, uh, again, go to either the Things Industries, Microtech, or uh, Deutsche Telekom's uh, booth to learn more about this product and the specifics uh, that, uh, that you want to learn from this.